Man, you haven't done real crawling. <laughs> setup we've got the 52 volt battery up here and yes if what you see is correct we have the powerful lithium 72 volt battery came in yesterday I'm gonna sneak it out of here show you guys the logo there powerful lithium we've got a nice fit in here inside the cage worked that inside of there yesterday for y'all Everything's a perfect fit. We've got just enough space here under the controller to throw some wires. The bad news today is, so we've got our charging port here. We've got our 12 amp charger. We can charge up to 12 amps when I need to charge on the go. I can have this thing charged up in a little over an hour from, from empty. Or if I'm just gonna charge it overnight, like I did yesterday, take it down to three or four amps, charge it up that way, get healthier battery life. But as you can see, the battery's in here. The bad news is I'm missing this QS8 male cable to the O-ring that connects to the controller. I was under the impression that powerful lithium was going to include that cable. So there's going to be a little bit more waiting before you guys can see this in action. In a few days, I'll have that QS8 and then we will be able to test this monster out. We're gonna see how fast we can get it. We're gonna see how much torque, and I'm gonna show you the app that we program the controller with. We can, we're gonna program this throttle. We're gonna program the torque. We're gonna to program the high end. We're gonna to try to tweak this bike to the way that we want it, to keep it comfortable out the gate. So there's that, everybody. We've got the 72 volt battery finally. We've got the 5,000 watt. Beast motor peaking at close to 10K back here. We've added some compression to the rear shock. We've got our torque arm on the other side there. We've got our brakes beefed up here for more power. We've got some nice ceramic brake pads on there. Last week's video under the description has the parts list. If anybody wants to see the parts list for this build, go to last week's video, this Rev 172 volt build. We've got, we've got a mirror on here now. I don't think you all saw that last week. Nice little touch for safety on the road. So, you all have seen this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this battery away for now. There's going to be a second part of this video today, everybody. And, so while we wait on that cable, we're going to focus on this right here. So ride one up, finally sent that part out that I told you about in last week's video. 
for those of you all just joining up in the channel, this is the Rev 1. This is a 72 volt conversion build that we have going on here. We've got uh, the all systems, light systems, and turn signals running off the 52 volt battery. And we've got the 5,000 watt MB power motor running off this 72 volt battery. We're missing one cable to bring it all together. This is the original motor that came on this bike. This is the stock Rev 1 rear 750 buffeting motor. As you can see, this is what happened to this thing. For those of you all just joining up, for those of you all following the channel, you already know about this issue. This thing stripped clean off of here. So, what we are going to do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up. We're gonna see what they sent us and if it looks like it could fix this. Because if so, that means we have another motor. So here's the piece they sent us right here, everybody. So it looks like they're just replacing this whole thing right here. So this looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy fix. There's another freewheel here. And all it looks like I'm gonna have to do is remove these, take this off, and replace it with this. This looks like it's gonna be some pretty easy work. So, I'm going to get going on that at some point today, and I will show you all either, it's gonna get tacked on to the end of this video, or I'll show you guys at the beginning of next week's video when we take this bad boy out here on the road. But I wanted to show you everybody, I wanted to update you. For those of you all who've been following the Rev1 journey this whole entire time, thank you so much for following. We are so close to arrival. We are days away from seeing this beast on the road, finally. Look at, look at everything. Everything is nice and tight, nice and tuned up. We've got our suspension, we've got our, we've got our co new cockpit here looking good. We've got our dual displays. We've got both of our power controllers here. We've got a full throttle now. We flipped our brakes around, so now we have our rear brake over here. This, this motor has the kind of power that could bring this front wheel up. So this is gonna bring it back down right here. That's why I wanted this on this side. I did not want it on the throttle side. Much more comfortable with that. So I'm going to go ahead probably get started on this project here I want to try to get this video out to you all today so this might not make it to the end of this video I want to get this posted out to you I want you all to see that the battery is here and whenever the that cable comes in whatever day of the week it is even though I normally post on Wednesdays I promise you all the second I can show you this beast in action it is going to happen so stay tuned for the 72 volt Rev 1 on the road. It is coming, it is days away everybody. In the meanwhile, we're gonna fix up this old old motor here and we're gonna figure out what to do with this. We're gonna start a new bike build. If you all think of a bike frame that you want to see this motor and this wheel on, let me know in the comments below. Let me know, shoot some ideas at me, we'll shoot ideas around, we'll see what we should do with this thing. But in the meanwhile, we're excited, gang. Thank you all for following. Thanks for watching Manny Reed TV. If you like what you're seeing here, if you like this build, please hit that like button. Please go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to stay up with what's going on with this 72 volt bike, go ahead and hit the bell. You'll be the first one to know about new videos. Thank you all very much.